This is Felix enclosure and in case you don't know this is Felix. He is a panther chameleon that is currently kind of hiding from me, but okay. Anyhow, his enclosure is kind of neat, right? But I think we can do something better. Much better. And as you can see, we are in the old dark den. And I cannot believe that I'm referring to this as the old dark den because just a month ago this was a new dark den and old dark den was my apartment but now this is the old dark den the reason why we are back here it is because i started this build while i was still here in the old dark den but of course i will be finishing this enclosure in the new new dark den and here is mitza mitza hey i just touched her and she's already purring hello mitza you know now I will be moving to a new space and I won't be able to see you that often. But don't worry, I will definitely visit you now and then. <laughs> so the question you might have now is, why the hell with enclosure that looks like this I want to build a new one? Well, reason number one, when I designed this enclosure, I wanted to make it like an open enclosure. As you can see, there is no door or anything. And at first that was working out. Felix wasn't able, when he was smaller, he wasn't able to escape. I mean, he wasn't able to go out, but as he grew his capabilities, his climbing capabilities increased. So he was able to climb from this, on this, on this and outside. But the coolest thing was while he was able to escape, I mean, go out, he would also return to his enclosure on his own. But the problem is, when he started going out, these pipes that he often used for climbing, they weren't in use because I didn't need any heating here. So they were cold and I really didn't have any problems with Felix going out on occasion. But the problem was winter, because during winter these pipes are hot and he could easily burn himself, so I couldn't allow him anymore to go outside. That's why I built this cage. This cage goes here and prevents him from going outside but in the same time it looks terrible and it is super impractical because in order to do anything to the enclosure or to feed him i need to remove it and removing this is a big big hassle and also there was one other problem with the enclosure and the problem lies here actually two problems first one mold i have no idea how this developed but it is terrible terrible and second thing is you see water got into a particle board and they all started to deteriorate yeah real nasty and that was all my fault because i'm not sure if you will be able to see but here i made a hole and that hole allows this drainage layer to drain of course but the problem was i couldn't really make it waterproof so water got into the board through that hole and yeah it just spread and everything became terrible the enclosure on its own still works fine you see everything is alive and well but it looks terrible and since I will be moving into a new space. I came with a brilliant idea that I want to make a new enclosure, better enclosure, and I want to be it like a central piece of the of the new dark den. So that's why I got this. This magnificent piece of wood. And if you're wondering from where I got this amazing piece of wood, there is a short video on second dark den channel, so you can go there and check it out. Also, if I remember, I will link it in the description. So what I want, I want to use this wood as a central piece of the enclosure that is central piece of the new dark den does that make any sense it will be more clear later in the video at least i hope so so this is huge piece of wood it is magnificent piece of wood and i need to make it stable right now you see i cannot it won't stand on its own so we need to fix it first it is actually dry so it's not super heavy so i need to cut this bottom piece to make it flat it will be first step. Then I will drill a couple of holes and put wooden stuff that will kind of provide stability. And then we will put this in some sort of bucket or something and fill it with cement to make it super stable. So let's do that. Okay, I did something. But it definitely didn't help. It is hot in here. Not ideal, but definitely better. We can continue with the build. I will need now three holes. And now this should fit right in. Mm. 
There, this side is actually in the air, it is basically not in use, but I don't mind as long as everything holds. And of course everything will be connected and super stable once I put it in cement, but just I need to have it stable while the cement cures, so that's why I need at least something. And that should be more than enough, so now we need to do one time jump. Okay, I think I figured it out. As you see, I am making currently a mold and then in that mold I will pour cement and that should give enough stability. So yeah, I'm going to do that. Now to mix cement. I kind of don't have enough gravel, but I hope that this will work out. We will see when we open the, the mold. Time to jump and it seems that it is now dry. So I will try and lift it to see if everything is solid. It definitely seems solid. Now I will bring it towards there. And Mitsa is over there once again, you see? This is now super heavy. Do -do 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 -do. I want to check how stable it is. Even now it is super stable, but this entire section will be buried underground, so it will be even more stable. But even now, you see, can't really tip it over, no matter how hard you try. Let me just check how, how the bottom part is dry. And Mitsa is not amused. Yeah, you see, this is also solid. Perfect. I'm super satisfied how this turned out to be. What do you say about that, Mita? Mita? <laughs> poor, poor, poor. Okay, and now I need to take this to new, new dark den. So one teleport and a really, really, really long time jump. As you see, we are now in the new dark den. And there has been a lot of development. So let me get you up to speed. This is the location that I was talking about. A central location in the almost in the middle of the dark den you see that is approximately where the actual enclosure will be and this piece will be a central piece of that enclosure as you see i broke off this this branch because it was the tallest and it was kind of in the way of all other stuff because now i will be able to put a uvb lamp here and that will shine all these branches. If I let this branch stay, then I would be forced to put UVB light way, way, way too high, or otherwise Felix could just reach from that height branch. He would be able to reach the lamp. So that's why I removed it. And one more update to the bottom of the wood. I screwed on this board. That way it is much more stable. And the problem was I was moving it a lot and you see it started to crack. So that's why I added that and now it's much more stable and yeah overall better so those are the changes to the actual tree and now our next step will be let me explain you what lighting for this enclosure we need a lot of light and this is a big led panel that i will screw above the enclosure in between those two lights and that will be always on i mean it will be on the same cycle as the uvb and other lamp other heat and everything it will be on 12 hours schedule so that is the plan. I need to drill some holes over there, connect electricity and put it on top. And that could be a bit challenging. First, I will need to connect the cable to the actual light. And that is this cable. And if you have some basic electricity knowledge, it is uh, an easy task. Because basically what you need to do, you have three wires. Each of them is colored differently and you just need to connect with these three wires that also have three different colors just like these wires. Super easy, right? So let's get to it. I first need to cut and separate the three wires out of this big wire. I just cut it out and separated the three wires. One, two, three. You see, they are same color like these. And I need to expose each individual wire like that and then we use this to connect the other wires so first you need to put each wire into its own but you will understand it better when i show you than when i try to explain it with words this is all basic electricity knowledge that honestly everyone should know because you never know when you will need it in real life you see each wire now on top i connect the corresponding wires so bull wire oh actually wait a minute yeah, I kind of messed it up because this panel is going on top, so there will be not enough space for this plastic thingy. So I actually need to pull these wires in and also pull these wires through this hole and then connect them from the inside because we have more space here to work with. So yeah, I'm just going to pull this like that, undo these guys and I will cut this cable a bit more so I have more wires there now we are where we started and now the only thing you need to be careful is to put the correct wire but if you can see colors easily then you won't have any problems with that let's now check it to see if everything works I'm just gonna plug it into 
a power socket. Oh, it works. Am I bright? Ooh, really bright. Yeah. And also, I have controller for it, but I don't have batteries. Give me a second. Whoa. Oh, you see, you can change the color temperature. Just blue light, yellow light, and combined. Let me shut it down. And let's now put it on top. Oof, everything is glowing in front of me. The LEDs are really bright. You need to be a bit higher for that. Further away, now you should see everything. First, I need to get this out of the way. I need to move the carpet because I will be drilling the ceiling and everything will be falling down. I need to mark the holes where I need to drill. And I actually had to do that before I connected this heavy cable. I'm going to temporarily remove it once again. It will be much easier like that. And connecting the cable back is really easy, so no reason why not to do it. Okay, let's go. Look at my face. You see how I'm sweating? It is really hot in here, so yeah. Let's drill! Cable not long enough. I am ready. Are you ready? Of course that you are ready. Yes! Woo! That's it. Let's see if it still works. Ooh, so bright! This is so bright. Now the cover. It seems that it is stable. It works. Awesome, now one time jump and... Yeah, it is basically complete. Let me explain what I did. While I was editing the clips that I already recorded, I noticed that there is a lot of drilling and cutting and drilling and cutting and connecting and drilling and more cutting and all of that. So I realized that this video will be just a bit too long and most likely boring to great majority of you. So I decided to do majority of stuff uh, off camera. But of course I will explain everything that I did in the meantime. Starting from the enclosure on its own, you see, as I explained, uh, glass panels, but one different thing that I decided to do. I didn't silicone the glass panel and instead I 3D printed these custom thingies that are holding the glass in place and you see each corner is connected with those pieces. You see, four corners, four pieces, I mean eight pieces. The reason why I did it, in case Felix is, I don't know, able to get out, then I can easily just get longer panels, glass panels, remove shorter ones and increase the size. It will be easy to, I mean, it will be easier to manipulate with the enclosure as I see fit. Also, in the same time, I decided to not put the bottom part and it is just standing, the glass is just standing on the floor and the plants will just stay in their plastic containers. Also the same reason it will be easier to manipulate with everything if I need to add more plants, if I need to remove something or rearrange or whatever with this kind of setup. For Felix it will be the same but for me it is much easier to do it now like this. And you see I got one big ficus plant which is actually two separate branches and I just connected one branch with one side and the other branch with the other side. And I think that now it looks really really nice. Also one other thing that I added, you see that I used a bunch of fake vines. The reason for that is I noticed that he was struggling kinda climbing on these uh, wider pieces so therefore now he will have more additional places to just hold on. It goes all the way here also all the way here and in this section he can just use the actual branches, the ficus branches. Now to cover the technical aspects. You see this this thing, actually it is easier to just show it closer. This is wood piece. I had a long board and I cut it to appropriate size. I painted with black color and that will be used as a mounting piece for the UVB light. You see uh, the way I did it I can rotate this so therefore I will be able to put the UVB light here and rotate it 
in a direction that I think that it is the best. And by mounting it that way, I made sure that it is out of reach for Felix. If he stands here, he won't be able to reach it, but in the same time, it is close enough for UVB to be... I mean, UVB lamp will be close enough to be efficient, so the Felix can actually absorb the UVB rays or however that works but I still need to install that UVB light because UVB lamp is still in his enclosure together with heat spot and heat spot I will just hang it from top like it will hang here and then it will shine this area this area will be more warmer so then when I'm recording the videos from here you will actually be able to see him most of the time if he will be up there I don't know we will see how that will work out and also I installed the misting system you see here is one nozzle and here I have place where I can put another nozzle if needed but for now I won't do it I think that I won't need it and the misting system goes up there through these guiders over there over there over there they are down down here and then goes here into the misking system unit and over there is the reservoir and also inside of that we have the electric cable that powers this and that will power the UVB lamp you see here is the the cable that I need to just plug in. So I think I covered everything. Now, as I explained, all we need to do is UVB, heat spot, and we can bring the Felix in. But first let's get the UVB from his old enclosure. Felix, Felix, where are you? I'm gonna put you here because I need to remove this cover. You know, this cover that prevents him from escaping the enclosure. Okay, I see him. Here he is. Check him out. Hey, Felix. Are you ready for the big move? <laughs> but you see, unfortunately, the two biggest plants, they all dried out, I guess. I destroyed their roots by taking them outside of that dirt originally. But these two, the smaller ones, they are holding all right. So now I need to take this and this. And once again, you are going to the tripod. heat lamp or better say heat spot because this is not a lamp this is just radiating the heat and here is the UVB lamp now I need to go over there install that and then we will bring the Felix in <laughs> and I realized that I didn't even mention it I'm showing off the green Dark Den logo shirt very nice drill drill Jesus Okay, I messed it up a bit, I need to quickly switch something. Woo! Yes, it works! With the minor setbacks, we are done with this. Now, only thing that it is left, the heat spot. And I still kinda need to figure that out. I have a basic idea, but I'm still not 100% sure. Let me just check and measure things. I want it to hang from the top something like this you see this is the basic idea so all of this would be on appropriate temperature i think i'm down looking at it now i would position it a bit further but first i need to get uh, a measurement of temperature on this area and then i will know if i need to reposition it or not but for now i think that the enclosure is Finally ready for Felix. Let me get him, but you will be waiting here. There. Be right back. Alright, maybe this wasn't the smartest thing because since I turned off the lights and it is dark over there without the lights, he actually went down and kinda got him. Oh, it is really dark here. How can I get it's brighter here? He kinda got himself into a position for, for sleepy sleepy time. But now he can do that in new enclosure. Let's put him put him on. I will actually take the camera and Felix, yeah, 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 I know that you are I know that you are huge and mean and everything, but here you go. This is your new enclosure. Or do you want me to put you here on the heat spot? <laughs> Come on, Felix, let me go and grab it. Let go my fingers, yes. There we go. Felix is on. What a beautiful little big guy. Oh, very nice. <laughs> now, I think that he won't be exploring as much because it is, as I said, he's actually going to sleep now. So I think that I will do a time jump into a time lapse. A time lapse that I will record tomorrow in the morning. I will come here early in the morning to set up the camera and then we will be able to see when he actually wakes up how he will explore his new enclosure and then we can end this video so yeah time jump what am i doing i said time lapse yeah time lapse
enjoying your new enclosure? Do you want to grow? Are you hungry? Nope, I guess new environment, so it is a bit too stressful for him because you see he is already hiding again like he was, like he used to. <laughs> it seems that he is a bit too spooked to, <laughs> to eat or do stuff like that. <laughs> you see he is turning around once again. But from the time lapse, from what I could see, he was exploring his enclosure. He's definitely curious about it. He wasn't just sitting at one spot all the time. So I really like the fact how this ficus provides so much hiding places for him. You see, he can hide inside of the, the actual bush like here or anywhere here and he's basically completely hidden and check him out. He's bolting away. <laughs> Felix, where are you going? Are you going to hide or you are going up? I think that he is going up. <laughs> so now we see Felix in action, climbing action, really cool. And from what I can tell, I think that he really enjoys the fact that he can go really uh, high up and that then he's actually higher than I am. So I'm pretty sure that that gives him comfort. And this is the place where he gets most hit actually. Oh, you're going on the very edge. Are you stable up there? Do you know what you're doing? I hope you do. But overall I'm definitely, definitely satisfied with this. Even though we don't have a real substrate, you see, these are actually uh, coco fiber bark and I will probably get a bit more to fill it up completely. And I think that even though it's not real substrate, it still looks decent and you see, when you go a bit further, it looks sweet, right? Now we need to give Felix a few days to settle in until he will start to feel more comfortable inside and until he starts to eat and everything and then the updates will follow, of course. But that would be all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this build. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support the channel more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload every Monday and Friday. So see you again soon. Felix, wave. Wave. Bye-bye.